Grade 4 math, number 87, relate fractions, decimals, and money. Little review, a decimal point is a dot symbol used to separate dollars from cents in money amounts, and to separate the ones place value from the tens place value of a decimal. So like for money, here is the decimal point, and this 20 is equals 20 cents of 100 cents of a dollar. It's part of a dollar. This is the whole dollar, the ones place, tenths and hundredths. Three and two tenths is written as three and two tenths as a decimal. Here's the ones place, just like that. Three is a whole, one. And then we have our decimal point, and then we have our tenths place, okay? A decimal is a number that is to the right side of the decimal point. Okay, so all, see the decimal point here? All the numbers to that side of it are going to be smaller than 1, and they're going to be parts of 1, as if 1 was split into 100 parts. Okay? All right. We're also going to review that a dollar is 100 cents. Okay? Let's get a better look. A half dollar is 50 cents. It's got John F. Kennedy on it. One quarter is 25 cents. That's got George Washington on it. A dime is equal to 10 cents. That's got Eisenhower on it. One nickel is equal to 5 cents. That's got Thomas Jefferson on it. And one penny is equal to 1 cent, and that's got Abraham Lincoln on it. Do you notice that everybody is looking towards my left? And Lincoln's looking towards the right? I mean, I know George Washington is too, but he's on a dollar bill. All the coins are all looking towards this chart, and Lincoln's looking away. Isn't that something? Okay, here we have a dollar bill, and these are 25 cent pieces, as in these. Four quarters make a dollar. See? One, two, three, four. It's like saying... 25 cents and 25 cents and 25 cents and 25 cents makes a hundred, okay? So these four guys right here make one dollar, okay? We know when we have one of them, we have one-fourth of a dollar. When we have two of them, we have half of a dollar, okay? One quarter is 25 one-hundredths or one-fourth of a dollar because there are four quarters in each dollar, one of them is one-fourth. That makes sense, right? Two quarters are 50 cents because 25 plus 25 is 50 and they're each worth 25. And they're two-fourths because there are four in each dollar and two would be half, right? So they're half dollar. Half of a dollar is 50 cents or it's written as the dollar sign with a decimal point with the 50 because 50 plus 50 is 100, so one of them, the 50, is half of the dollar. It's half of the 100, see? One half of 100 is 50. So one dollar is equal to 100 cents, okay? There are 10 dimes in each dollar. Each dime is worth 10 cents. Point one zero, see? If we have seven dimes, we have 70 cents. See, they're each worth 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Or we could say, because there's 100 cents in a dollar, that the 70 cents was 70 one-hundredths. 70 one-hundredths of a dollar. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70 dimes is equal to 70 cents, or 70 cents out of 100. So, Check out my little chart here. If we had one quarter and one dime, it would be 25 and 10. We would have 35 cents. It would be written as the dollar sign and then the point 35. It would be 35 one hundredths, and it would be written as point 35 as a decimal. See? 35 hundredths. If we had three dimes and a nickel, that would be 10, 20, 30, and a 5, we would have 35 cents. We'd have 35 one hundredths, and it would be written as 0.35.
If we had a quarter and two nickels, because that's 25 and these are each five, we would still have 35 cents written as 35 one hundredths or 0.35. If we had 35 pennies, we would have 35 cents or 35 one hundredths or 0.35. See? There's all different ways we can make 35 cents with the combination of the money, okay? So let's see if we can count some money. How much money is right here? What's the fraction of 100 and what's the decimal? All right, so let's take a look. We've got, I'll try to get the reflection off my board, we've got a quarter, that's 25, a dime, that's 10, a five, and three ones. So we've got 25, a 10, a five, plus three ones. Okay, that's what we got. So we've got 25, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43. So this is 43 cents right here, okay? You can write it as the dollar sign with a zero and 0 0.43 or 43 one hundredths or 0.43. Sometimes you might even see it written like this. That's the cent mark for, for, for cents, how many cents you have, okay? All right, now we have two quarters, okay? So that's a 25 plus a 25. We have a 5 and a 5 and a 10. And we have one penny, see that? If we add these up, we've got 25 and 25 is 50. And if we group these together, that's 60, 71, see? Written as 0.71 for 71 cents or 71 one hundredths or 71 one hundredths like this could also be 71 cents, see? Now we've got three quarters, see that? One, two, three. So that's 25 plus 25 plus 25. That's 50, and another one is 75, so that's 75 cents written with the dollar sign of zero, the decimal point, and the 75, or 75 one hundredths, or it could be written as 75 one hundredths like a decimal like that, or you could say it's 75 cents written like that, okay? Now look, we've got two pennies. It's written as dollar sign zero with the decimal point zero and a two, and it's just a 1 plus a 1, isn't it? It's 2 one hundredths. It's 2 cents out of 100. See? Or you could. it's 2 hundredths. See? 2 hundredths. All right? Because there's 100 pennies and a dollar, so two of them would be 2 hundredths. Now, not talking about money, just talking about regular decimals, if we had 100 of 100 parts, we would have a whole one, right? And then if we had 34 out of 100 parts, we would have 1 and 34 hundredths. See that? The decimal point would actually go like right there, see? For this one, we've got 100 out of 100 parts, so we've got a whole one. And now we've only got 6 out of 100. So that's 6 one hundredths, see? So that's written as a 0 holding the place value of the tenths because we don't have any tenths. See, it doesn't even fill up 110. It hasn't even made it to the bottom. So it's 6 out of the 100 boxes are orange, see? So this holds the place value and then we put the six in the hundredths place, okay? So, that's how we relate fractions, decimals, and money. If you've got some uh, coins that you can practice counting with, that would be a good idea. But you can also get little pieces of paper and pretend they're money and put their value on them. Write a little 10 on them or a little 5 or a little 25 and, and practice. They don't even have to be round. You can make them square and use your imagination that they look like the coins. 
It's always fun to pretend. And then practice counting money so that you know how to do it and you know how to give change and you know all the different combinations that the money can be in. I'll see you next video. We're going to keep talking about decimals. Stick with me. Keep up the good work. You can do this. Bye.